Mazda CX-7 in 2006 was a discovery, serious queues lined up for new cars. Why is the CX-7 not in the same high demand in the secondary market? And after a decade, Mazda is still a beauty. But the paintwork and body trim are delicate, the external, chrome, decor surrenders under the onslaught of road chemistry in 3-5 to five years, and the rolling at the bottom of the doors of the most experienced specimens can upset with corrosion. And a close look at the acquaintance in the eye's headlights does not hurt. Traces of moisture inside the head optics with xenon lamps are an unkind sign. Because of this, the headlights were even often changed under warranty, a new original one costs $1,000 and an analog costs 350 to 450. After all, if a lot of condensate accumulates, it can harm the ignition unit under the headlight, $300. There were also replacements for pretty, snowflake, rear lights, $350 for originals or $100 to $150 for copies. The engineers messed up either with the type of plastic or with heat dissipation, but during long work, especially on pre-styling, sevens, older than 2009, the body in its central part cannot withstand the heat from incandescent lamps and can not only melt, but also burn through. The owners came up with the idea of backslash U200B backslash U200 fighting this scourge by installing coal diode lamps instead of the usual ones. A bumper protruding from the sides is not necessarily the result of an accident. Its fasteners are not durable. Headlight caps become cloudy over time both outside and inside. Electronics in general is unpretentious. Unless the CD changer sometimes goes on strike, at the same time, dealers change the head at the cost of $600 entirely, and occasionally the regular alarm box. Does the air conditioner stop cooling? Most likely, she passed the clutch for turning on the air conditioning compressor, $140. And after 100 to 120,000 kilometers, a worn bearing can bring the matter to a jamming of the shaft and you will have to pay $380 for a new compressor or $200 for a restored one. Interior squeaks on bumps in older Mazdas are not uncommon. Most often the front panel, door upholstery, and seats are solo. For turbocharged cars older than spring 2007, the high-pressure fuel pump, $500, can fail. And if the more recent Mazda starts to twitch when picking up speed and increase the already immodest fuel consumption to indecent, the air of the front, located before the converter, the oxygen concentration sensor in the exhaust gases is to blame, $300 for the original and an order of magnitude, less for the analog. The piquancy of the situation is that replacing the sensor often does not help for a long time, especially on cars younger than 2008, when the Lambda probe itself became more reliable. So you will have to remember not where you could grab surrogate fuel, but how long have the brake pads changed? The upholstery of the steering wheel and the knob of the transmission lever began to lose their marketable appearance after three to four years. The fact is that, due to the layout features, the fluid spilled from the brake system reservoir gets straight onto the wiring harness of the engine control system. No problem. But the brake fluid turned out to be aggressive with respect to the wire insulation material, over time. It damages it and causes a short circuit in the oxygen sensor harness or connector. And there were so many such cases that the problem was recognized as a warranty one and both the wiring harnesses, at least $450, and the sensor itself were changed without any questions. In cars of the first year of production, twitching during acceleration from low revs also happened for another reason, due to a crude engine control program. And the signal about a motor malfunction in specimens older than 2008 could be turned on due to the fault of the environmental intake manifold valve VSC, variable swirl control in cold weather, the vacuum actuator of its damper was not always strong enough. Then they began to use a modified, more powerful drive. Armchairs delight with resistant leather on the front side, and upset with the fragile substitute from the sides and rear. First of all, corrosion should be looked for in places near the rolling at the bottom of the door panels. But the 2.3 turbo engine itself with the long brand name MZR Daisai Turbo, Mazda responsive direct injection spark ignition, delivers the most vivid impressions to the owners, and, alas, not only because the CX-7 shares it with the Mazda 3 MPS and Mazda 6 lighters. MPS. By the way, if it remained in its pure form on the crossover for the European market, with the power of 260 horsepower and 98 gasoline, then for us in America it is derated to 238 and 244 horsepower, respectively, and tuned to 95. In the 2.3 engine, from frequent short trips or long idling, 
a malfunction signal may turn on due to the appearance of abundant carbon deposits on the spark plugs. The 2.5 engine on Mazda 6 cars of 2008 spoiled its reputation with unreliable piston pin circlips. But on CX-7 his biography is clear. Adventures began with the fact that not every BorgWarner K04 turbocharger, $1,800 for a new unit or $800 for a refurbished one, survived to 30 to 40,000 kilometers, and one that reached 120 to 150,000 was considered incredibly lucky. It's hard not to notice the beginning of the problems. The CX-7 starts to smoke like a steam locomotive, especially after a long idling. In a special risk group, cars older than mid-2008 with an unsuccessful design of the booster cartridge, after it was finalized. But everyone has the threat of coking of the oil supply pipe, therefore it is highly desirable to install a turbo timer on the CX-7, and change the oil at least once every 7 to 8,000 kilometers. 2.2 liter turbo diesel, with DPF filter, piezoelectric injectors, and low compression ratio, 16.3, one, any of the automatic transmissions, in gratitude for fresh oil, does not cause problems for years. And there should be enough oil. The 2.3 engine does not differ in modesty of oil appetite even in the atmospheric version on the younger sister Mazda 6. What can we say about the turbo version, which, when driving actively, will not choke and gobble up 0.5 to 0.7 liters of oil per thousand? If you do not keep track of the level, the consequences can be disastrous, up to a broken connecting rod or a cracked crankshaft. And keep in mind that the MZR motor sometimes does not experience serious repairs. It happens that when tightening, the steel bolts of the head or main caps break the threads in the aluminum block. The live hydraulic support of the power unit must be without traces of working fluid streaks and with a gap to the side member. The reservoir with brake fluid and a lot of wires under it is a dangerous neighborhood. Fresh oil will also be a boon for the chain, $70 in the gas distribution mechanism. It does not tolerate dynamic overloads in a powerful engine too confidently, and if it is also dissatisfied with the diet, it stretches after only 40 to 50,000 kilometers. The problem is exacerbated by the fact that as a result of a chain reaction, the impact load on the not very powerful clutch of the VVT system phase shifter, $300, increases, it can become loose in just 60 to 80,000 kilometers. The first barely perceptible bell, or rather, crackling, appears in the initial few seconds after starting the engine. And I don't advise you to wait for the following signs. First, the gas distribution phases will noticeably float away, the diesel engine will tell you about this, and the chain will stretch even more, starting to rumble on the cylinder head cover. If you stubbornly ignore this, then under an unfortunate set of circumstances, the gear may collapse, its pieces can fall under the chain, and the meeting of the valves with the pistons will be a sad ending. The comic of the situation is that at first the weak point of the coupling was an unhardened key, at the beginning of 2008 it was strengthened, then the gear itself began to break. And only in 2010 the knot was finally brought to mind. Just do not be afraid of clanging from under the hood on bumps after 80 to 90,000 kilometers, its cause will definitely lie in the right engine hydraulic mount, $100 for the original and 50 to 70 for analogs. Moreover, it can misbehave not only because of leaks, but also from excessive heating, the viscosity of the filler decreases and, accordingly, the efficiency of work. The oil change unit was modified twice, in 2008 and 2014. And remember that a hot 2.3 turbo engine is itself very afraid of overheating, where if the fan threshes non-stop on the go and does not turn off for a long time after the engine stops. The culprit may be not only a radiator clogged with dirt and dust, $200 for a branded one and half as much for substitutes, which it is desirable to clean at least once every couple of years, but also a thermostat that wedged after 120 to 140,000 kilometers, $35 to $40 both for the original and for analogs. It was finalized only in 2011, replacing the valve material, and there was even a recall campaign on this occasion. An alternative to a capricious turbo engine? The 2.2 diesel engine offered in Europe of its own design which debuted on the Mazda 6 of the second generation, you will not find in our day with fire. However, in 2009, Mazda engineers decided to exchange the perky nature of the CX-7 for reliability by implanting the aspirated 2.5 series L5. This engine, which appeared in 2007, also on the Mazda 6, is another version of the same naturally aspirated 2.34, but with a larger cylinder bore and piston stroke, 
a modified intake system and gas distribution mechanism, and a minimum of problems. The timing chain endures at least 200,000 kilometers, and before that, worries most often come down to adjusting the valves, usually after 120,000 kilometers, and periodically cleaning the throttle. It is also not upsetting that in addition to the 2.5 engine there is a 5-speed automatic transmission FS5A EL, created in 2004 on the basis of the 4-stage FN4A EL with forward roots. At first, she suffered from inherited ailments, wear and tear after 100 to 150,000 kilometers of the aluminum rear cover, in the molded caliper of which play appeared, and the 3rd and 4th gear clutches. But the CX-7 received this unit already in a treated form and with a normal attitude towards itself, it is quite capable of serving 250,000 kilometers, or even more. Yes, and the automatic 6-speed paired with the 2.3 engine does not make you regret that the 5 and 6-speed mechanics were officially inaccessible to us. Firstly, because the AW6AX EL box, also known as the popular Eisenwarner TF81SC, which appeared in the early 2000s and is familiar to car owners of Volvo, Ford, Opel, Fiat, Saab, Peugeot, and Renault, is also quite capable of last at least a quarter of a million kilometers. The only unseemly moment in her biography on the CX-7 is her dislike for frost, at temperatures below minus 30 degrees Celsius, due to thickened oil, slippage of the friction clutches could occur, and in case of an unfortunate set of circumstances, the supply hose could be torn off. In 2011, the thermal valve was modified, the spring preload was changed, in the working fluid cooling system, and the problem was forgotten. And secondly, there are just questions for a mechanical six-speed paired with a powerful 2.3, with an active driving style, synchronizers, especially often in third gear, often wear out before 100,000 kilometers. The five-speed mechanics, with a quieter 2.5 engine, by the way, does not raise questions. Restyling in 2009 brought not only changes in appearance, but also an alternative to the 2.3 turbo engine. Coincidence or accident, but in the same way at first they missed the frost resistance of the power steering system, excessive pressure of a viscous fluid tore off the hoses. The issue was closed in 2010 by shortening the pipeline and using more reliable clamps. The batter of wet business is picked up by the oil seals of the transfer case and the rear gearbox, in which a runny nose after 80 to 90,000 kilometers happens in any weather. And in addition, after six to eight years, the Rizdat kit can upset and leak from its crankcase, due to the aging of the sealant between its halves. However, the transfer case itself has an enviable survivability and breaks down extremely rarely, and there are no other questions about the all-wheel drive system. But if the owners of front-wheel drive cars, those with the 2.5 engine, as a rule, don't even remember about the rear wheel bearings, then for all-wheel drive cars with 2.3 they can buzz with a run of about 60 to 80,000 kilometers. $250 each with the original hub and 100 substitutes. The pendant is strong. Inexpensive front stabilizer bushings can irritate with squeaks after 20 to 30,000 kilometers, but they do not lose their performance. Front shock absorbers, $70 to $80 each for both original and analogs from eminent companies, rarely get tired before 70 to 80,000 kilometers, and out of solidarity with them, their supports, $30 each, are also resigned at the same time. But most of the other elements of both the front and rear suspension, and the steering, confidently step over the line of 100 to 140,000 kilometers, and then most often pass the ball joints, you have to buy the front lever assembly for 400 euros each. The front brakes turned out to be weak, discs, $260 original and $80 to $150 for high quality substitutes, especially for pre-styling copies, sometimes required replacement after some 15 to 20,000 kilometers and mostly due to runout, not wear. Dealers changed the discs under warranty, the owners tried to adapt larger parts from the older sister CX-9. As a result, the material of the discs and pads was changed, protective covers were modified for better heat dissipation, only cars younger than 2009 won the problem. It turns out that the 7 with the 2.3 turbo engine is not the best choice. But the prices are tempting. The difference even with the more compact Honda CRV can be measured in six figures. If you are tempted, you should look for a relatively rare 5% of cars, Mazda CX-7 with a 2.5 engine. At the age of 5, this will cost the same as the turbo version, 750 to 850,000 rubles. Alas, it is less bright in character and only front-wheel drive, 
but no worries about the fate of the turbines and chains.